Hello everyone, thank you for joining me. Today I'll be showing you how to crochet an owl. I'll be doing it in the pink today. My niece Georgia loves owls. My main colour will be light pink. I'll be using the dark pink for the wings, the white for around the eyes, the black for the eyes and the yellow for the beak and the claws. I'll be using sewing cotton and a sewing needle to sew it together and the black I'll use for embroidering on eyelashes. I've got my scissors, crochet hook and a darning needle to weave in the ends. I'll start with my head and the light pink. I start with a magic loop. And work two chain and then work two half double crochet into my circle. Next I work three treble. And then six half double crochet three treble and three half double crochet. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the second chain. For row two I start with two chain and work one half double crochet in the next stitch and then two half double crochet into the following stitch. Now I work two treble into each of the next three stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches two half double crochet into the next stitch. Now two treble into each of the next three stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. And one half double crochet into each of the remaining stitches. 
and then join with a slip stitch in the top of the two chain. For row three we start with three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Now we work two double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And now one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches. And now two double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And then one double crochet into any remaining stitches. And then join with a slip stitch in the top of the third chain. For row four, we start with three chain and work one double crochet into the same place as, as the chain, and then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then Two double crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch six times. That was one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch six times.
Now we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch two times. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch. We do that two times. Now we work one double crochet into the next stitch and two into the following stitch six times. So one double crochet into the next stitch and two into the following stitch six times. And now one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, two double crochet into the following stitch, and a double crochet into the remaining stitches. and join with a slip stitch in the top of the third chain. For row 5 we start with 3 chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain and then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch all the way round. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch. So I'll complete this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the third chain and fasten off. I'll turn it over and I'll start with the ears. For the ears you start just at the side where it starts to curve around. I, I'm not very good at judging so I get a picture and work it out from there. We start with two chain and work one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches. and one joined half double crochet into the same stitch as the last half double crochet and the next stitch. 
and then we work two chain and turn and we work a joined half double crochet over the first two stitches a half double crochet into the next stitch and a joined half double crochet over the last two stitches. For row three we start with two chain and turn and we work a half double crochet cluster over all our stitches. And fasten off. To find out where my next ear starts, I bend my work in half and then I start there. So it's even from the centre to the two ears. And the second ear is work the same. Two chain one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches a joined half double crochet into the same stitch as the last half double crochet in the next stitch and then two chain and turn a joined half double crochet into the first two stitches, one half double crochet, a joined half double crochet into the last two, and then two chain and turn, and a half double crochet cluster over all the stitches, and fasten off. I like to neaten the edges around the ears so I weave in my ends and then I work a row of single crochet right around my work around the ears and around the whole lot. So I start just near the ear. I'll um, weave in my ends now and I'll be back. Now for the row of single crochet I start just in the stitch before the ear and work one chain and then work one single crochet up around the ear, round the head and up to the next ear. I crochet my tail in if I can. I just find a suitable place to put my hook in to bring up a loop. Now just continue all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the chain. So I'll do this row and I'll be back. Now that's the head and ears finished. For the outside of the eyes we make two circles the same. With the white we start with a magic loop and work three chain and work 12 double crochet into our circle.
pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the third chain. Row two we work two chain and work one half double crochet in the same place as the chain and then we work two half double crochet into each stitch around. So I'll work around this row and I'll meet you at the end. At the end of the row we join with a slip stitch in the top of the second chain and fasten off. And I'll have to make another one. For the eyes, I start with a magic loop and my black and work one chain and eight single crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch into the chain. and fast enough. I've just got a small circle. For the beak, I start with a magic loop and work two chain, three chain, sorry, and two double crochet into my circle. I pull the circle tight but I don't join. For row 2 I start with 4 chain and turn and I work a treble cluster over all the stitches. and fasten off. And the smaller part of the beak goes to the top. For the wings, I'm using my dark pink and I start with a magic loop and three chain and work two double crochet into the circle. I pull the circle tight but I don't join. For row 2 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet in the same place as the chain, a double crochet in the next stitch and a double crochet into the top of the three chain. For row three I start with three chain and turn and I work two double crochet into the same place as the chain. And work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and a double crochet into the top of the chain, the three chain. For row four, I start with three chain and work a joined double crochet over the same place as the chain and the next stitch and then one double crochet into each stitch 
and a double crochet into the top of the chain. For row 5, I start with 3 chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain and work one double crochet into each stitch until the last one. Into the last stitch and the top of the chain I work a join double crochet. For row 6 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet into each stitch and 1 double crochet into the top of the chain. For row 7 I start with 3 chain and turn and work 1 double crochet in the same place as the chain and then 1 double crochet into each stitch until the last 2. And I work a join double crochet over the last two stitches. For row 8 I start with 3 chain and turn and I work a double crochet cluster over all the stitches. And that's the wing. Both the wings are, work the same to that stage. And for this wing I now work, actually this wing, I work one chain and then work one single crochet into each stitch around. For this wing, once I finish I turn it and then I work one double crochet and then I work one single sorry I work one chain and then work one single crochet into each stitch around that way my wings point in the opposite way. So I'm working this wing at the moment so I haven't turned it and I just work one single crochet into each stitch. I just find a suitable place to put my hook so it doesn't show up too, too much. So I'll continue around the neatening row and I'll be back. Do the body now. It's worked the same as the head. I start with a magic loop and work two chain and then work two half double crochet into my circle. Next I work 3 treble
and then six half double crochet three treble and three half double crochet. I pull the circle tight and slip stitch in the top of the second chain. For row two I start with two chain and work one half double crochet in the next stitch and then two half double crochet into the following stitch. Now I work two treble into each of the next three stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch, one half double crochet into each of the next four stitches, two half double crochet into the next stitch. Now two treble into each of the next three stitches. Two half double crochet into the next stitch. And one half double crochet into each of the remaining stitches. And then join with a slip stitch in the top of the two chain. For row three we start with three chain and work one double crochet into each of the next four stitches. Now we work two double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And now one double crochet into each of the next eight stitches.
and now two double crochet into each of the next five stitches. And then one double crochet into any remaining stitches. And then join with a slip stitch in the top of the third chain. For row four, we start with three chain and work one double crochet into the same place as, as the chain, and then one double crochet into each of the next two stitches, and then Two double crochet into the following stitch. Now we're going to work one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch six times. That was one double crochet into the next stitch and two double crochet into the following stitch six times. Now we work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch two times. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and then two double crochet into the following stitch. We do that two times. Now we work one double crochet into the next stitch and two into the following stitch six times. So one double crochet into the next stitch and two into the following stitch six times.
and now one double crochet into each of the next two stitches two double crochet into the following stitch and a double crochet into the remaining stitches and join with a slip stitch in the top of the third chain. For row 5 we start with 3 chain and work a double crochet into the same place as the chain and then we're going to work one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch all the way round. So one double crochet into each of the next two stitches and two double crochet into the following stitch. So I'll complete this row and I'll meet you at the end. Now there's my body finished. I'll just work another set of eye pieces, another wing and finish off my ends and I'll be back to put it together. Once we've finished we'll crochet on the claws. Now there's all my pieces. The first thing I do is to join the outer bit of the eye together. Just that centre bit there, probably about a centimetre or perhaps it's about a quarter of an inch. I just join it together about there. So it looks like that. And while I've got my white cotton, I'll just put the little dots on the eyes and then I'll be back. Next I stitch the eyes on. The bottom of the eye goes just at the bottom of that first row, just in there. And I'll also stitch on some eyelashes. Now the next thing I do is stitch the eye pieces to the middle and then I stitch the beak with the smaller section to the top, just on top there. I now stitch the head to the body, it, not too much, um, probably, the head probably comes down to the bottom of the second row, so just in there. Now I stitch the wings on, just one on each side, they go slightly onto the head and you can judge how far you want them to stick out. They can go out much more than that. Um, if you're not sure of anything I'll have pictures on my website. The details are in the description below. Now there's the owl done except for the claws. For the claws I find the centre stitch then miss three and join in the fourth stitch. and I work three chain, one double crochet, three chain and slip stitch into the same place as my double crochet and then slip stitch into the next stitch. Each of our claws is three chain, one double crochet, three chain and slip stitch into the same place. So three chain, one double crochet, three chain, and slip stitch, and then slip stitch into the next stitch and three chain, one double crochet, three chain, slip stitch into the same place 
and fasten off. For the second claw, I find the centre stitch, I go back my four and then another three and I start there and let's work the same. So three chain, one double crochet and three chain and slip stitch into the same place. So I'll finish this claw and I'll fasten off my endings and then I'll be back to show you the finished owl. And there's the finished owl. If you like my video please like, subscribe and share. I'm also on Pinterest, Instagram, Facebook and Twitter. The details are in the description below. See you next time. Bye.